Let's see how wild this thing can get. Join me on Patreon. That was three years ago. And let me tell you, I had no idea how wild it would get. I am Charlotte Vessels, and I started a Patreon page in 2020. Back then, this was intended to be a side project, a place for songs that were different, and to share my many obsessions like art, books, plants, and painting. I had no idea how much life would change that year, and I had no idea how important having this platform and having this community would become. Instead of a side project for a niche club that wanted to geek out with me, right off the bat there were enough patrons to ensure that I could make a brand new song every single month. Instead of a side project, it became a lifeline during the pandemic. I was able to invite you into my home through live hangouts in my six feet under studio, where patrons got to meet family and friends. We celebrated Christmas and anniversaries. We laughed and cried and performed everything from Britney Spears to napalm death. And then, when life took an unexpected turn and the band I've been in since I was 17 split, this community kept me going and helped me direct my energy towards new music. That is when, instead of a side project, Patreon became my full-time job. Hi, come on. Me? Oh, so um, that's my favorite. Uh, I'll post a photo of it. <laughs> Through Patreon, I've been making songs and music videos all vastly different from one another. I've been inspired by a Victor Hugo poem, by my love for horror films. I've been able to respond to world events as they happened. I've shed my skin and my hair. And I've been able to collaborate with so many incredible musician friends, both inside the Six Feet Under studio as well as outside of it. Patreon money has gone to employ painters, illustrators, photographers, videographers, sound, light, mixing and mastering engineers, musicians, graphic designers, dancers and actors. Through the support of patrons, I've released two self-produced compilation albums and I have been able to bring those albums to the stage with the absolute best team around. Being reunited with my former bandmates on stage is something that I'm so grateful for. It's been an incredible journey with all of you, sharing the highs and the lows and a dedication to make the thing happen. And I thought that maybe tonight we could think of the things that maybe you want to do but you're scared of doing because you're scared of failure, you're scared of what other people might think of it, and then you think of it during the song and if it makes you happy then you make a resolution tonight that you gotta do it. Do, it. do the thing! So where do we go now that the dust has settled and we are back on track? It is time to raise the bar. And to do so, I'm starting a new chapter on this journey. The songs on Tales from Six Feet Under Volume 1 and 2 were made with a MIDI keyboard and a dream, all within a month's time and often less. But for my upcoming album, I am taking the time to rewrite and rearrange and I won't be alone. I'm heading into the studio with the best team to make this record as good as it can possibly be with a more cohesive sound. And when that album is ready, rather than just performing in the Netherlands, I want to take this record on the road with us, to a stage near you, wherever you are. With this new vision for the future comes a new game plan. That is why I'm doing a relaunch of my Patreon today with all new and exciting benefits, but the same amazing community at the heart of it. If you are a part of my Patreon community, I cannot thank you enough. None of this would have been possible without you. If you are not a member yet, why don't you join me on this adventure? I cannot wait to see what happens next.
Blijf druk, blijf druk. Maar hoe vaak kan je dat doen? Oh, ja. oh, ik heb echt een beleving. Ik ben nog een beetje bang dat ik zo hard in mijn stoornis krijg. Ja, dat je hard denkt, hé, dit is het ritme. Ja, oh, dit is het.